Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking cream cleansers. Now, I think cream cleansers are misunderstood for a number of reasons. I think people often associate them with like the 40s and 50s. They're a little bit dated when actually some of the new technology has transformed this style of cleanser. Also, I think people think they're only for dry skin types. Absolutely, they can be a great cleansing option for drier skin types, but they're also super applicable to even people like me, the oiliest out there. I want to pick it apart and say why I think you should try a cream cleanser for your own skincare routine and the very best cream cleansers on the market if you are tempted to give one a go. So sit back, relax, and let's talk all things cream cleansers. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what type of cleanser do you guys like? Like me, are you becoming a little bit of a convert to the cream cleanser and the benefits that you can get from it? Or are you a strict gel gal all the way? Let me know, sound off in the comment section below and don't forget to include any of your personal cleanser recommendations because I love to try out your suggestions and they really do shape the products that I try and review here on the channel in the future. I would love it if you'd also reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. I know I ask this in like every single video, but you know what, I do really and genuinely appreciate Appreciate every single one of the likes that you guys give me. It's a great way of supporting me in the channel because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So it just helps as many people as possible discover our wonderful Mad About Skin family. Now, with all that being said, shall we cut that waffle and just delve straight on in? And what are cream cleansers? Well, it's kind of in the name. It refers to the texture that you get from the product. You've got balm and oil cleansers, which are really like high oil content products. You've then got the gel cleansers that tend to though aren't exclusively oil free and foam up on application. In the middle, you have the cream cleansers. They often have an oil component to them, but they are a bit more light. They're more easy to glide onto the skin and they tend to wash off a little bit better than traditional oil or balm cleansers do. I kind of think you get the best of both worlds with a cream cleanser. You get the real deep and effective cleanse that you'll get with traditional oils and balms, but it's easier to remove and it's much more lightweight on the skin like traditional gel based cleansers. But unlike those gel cleansers, it's less likely to strip and dry the skin because you don't have to have as many surfactants in there, which can be a little bit irritating on the skin. I have become a total convert to cream cleansers, and this is kind of why I wanted to film this video and share with you some of my absolute favorites. Now, in terms of the people that can benefit from a cream cleanser, I think it's pretty universal. I know we're always told in skincare that if you have a dry skin type, go for a balm or an oil. If you have an oily skin type, go for a gel cleanser or wash. And absolutely, that stands. But I think somewhere in the middle exists the cream cleansers that are just universally applicable. They won't strip and dry the skin, they're super effective as a cleanser and I feel they feel a little bit more luxurious, more bougie, more spa-like than some of the other products out there. Which is kind of why I hopefully I'll turn you guys into a convert too. Now let's start with an oldie and a goodie. Now I said earlier that one of the main reasons people don't reach for cream cleansers is because they're associated with like the 40s and 50s. They're seen as a bit old-fashioned. Well actually the product that kick-started the cream cleanser revolution was this product. This is the Pons cold cream. Now this has been through various iterations and formulations, but I think the scent, judging by how it smells now, hasn't changed at all in the best part of a century. However, this was the original and traditional cold cream cleanser. Let me tell you from personal experience, this is one of the most effective cleansers you will ever, ever find. You put this on the skin, it just melts everything off like that. Gone is the dirt, the debris, multiple layers of water resistant SPF gone in an instant. And I think this is actually more effective than any cleansing oil or balm I've ever tried. Now, the fragrance isn't gonna be for everyone, but I think they do do a fragrance free option in some territory. Is. The main reason that I stopped using this is Pons aren't an entirely cruelty free brand and that's something that I really look for with the products that I reach for in my own skincare routine. But don't worry because I've got a cruelty free dupe for this oldie but a goodie and it's this product. This is the Boots Traditional Skin Skin Cream. That's a bit of a mouthful to say but basically it's the same ingredient profile as what you get in the Pons but it's entirely cruelty free and it's also a fraction of the cost. I picked this huge tub up which is double the amount of product you get with the Pons for £2.49. It's amazing. It's actually a moisturizer and cleanser in one. And I think this is why it's so nourishing on the skin. You get zero stripping, zero drying, but one of the most effective cleanses I've ever experienced. The scent on this one, is a little bit lighter than with the Pons one, but it still does have a little bit, you know, mothballs in the bottom of a drawer line, a kind of vibe to it, which isn't for everyone. But you know what? I kind of, I get used to it, and I feel it probably has an element of nostalgia built into this, at least for some people. This game-changingly good, and I reserve this for those nights where maybe I've worn multiple layers of really resistant SPF. I've been at the beach. I want to get all that sweat, grime, everything off the skin. You apply this, and you can remove it with like a hot flannel, and it just feels so luxurious, so spa-like. A fraction 
fraction of the cost. And I'd probably recommend this one over the ponds, not only because it's cruelty free, but also it comes at a lower price point and you get more product, which is win, 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 ding, ding, ding. Now, if you want to move away from a more traditional style cold cream cleanser, update it. Bring yourself into like the 21st, are we the 21st century? Yes, we are. <laughs> you want to bring it through into the 21st century. Then one product that has the same cream consistency and a really effective cleanse is this one. This is the Revolution Skincare Vitamin C Cream Cleanser. Fully up to date. The packaging, to die for. The formulation, really, really bougie and luxurious feeling on the skin. And you have some vitamin C in here, which if you work it into the skin for like 60 seconds, two minutes, actually will give a marginal brightening if you use it on a consistent basis. Like all cream cleansers, this is super easy to remove from the skin. It doesn't leave that film that you get with other balm cleansers, which I personally prefer. I've got super oily, acne prone skin, so the idea of that film being left on the skin, oh, just doesn't lead to a pleasant cleansing experience. You don't get that with this product. Wash it off the skin completely and just gives a real nice luxurious start to your day. I would definitely say this is one that you're probably going to want to use in the morning because the fragrance that comes in this is like what I'd say a little bit invigorating and uplifting. It's certainly on the fruitier side and I feel if you use this as part of your AM skincare routine it just brings this element of the sensorial, uplifts you, invigorates you so you can face the day knowing you've got perfectly cleansed skin and it's a great start to the rest of your routine. Now that Revolution product does contain artificial fragrance which you know what I don't personally mind. I like an element of the sensorial but that's not going to suit everybody particularly people with a more sensitive skin type. If that sounds like you then I would recommend this fragrance free option. This is simple purifying cleansing lotion. I love 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 this product. I've not always been the biggest fan of Simple. I think sometimes they took Simple and kind of made it boring. Like there's nothing exciting about their products but they all work and they take out some of the potential irritants that you might see in some other brands. You need a great option if you've got a sensitive skin type. This is so so good. It's a less of a cream and more of a lotion which is something I will call out but that's great if like me you're looking for something super lightweight on the skin. Now they say you should apply this with a cotton round kind of work it into the skin and then remove it with a wet or dampened cotton round. I don't bother doing that. I just splash some lukewarm water on the skin and it removes it like that. There's no trace, no film left on the skin. It's kind of up to you how you want to use your products. And if you do want to reach for cotton round, get some of the really big reusable ones because I find that they work better to remove this than some of the other disposable ones that kind of break apart on contact. No time in our lives for that. But you can use this with or without a cotton round and it just gives a really nice, super, super gentle cleanse. I should have probably said at this point, you know, one of the key benefits of cream cleansers is their versatility and you can either remove them with lukewarm water like I just said I prefer to do with all of these products or you can remove them with a hot cloth, a flannel, a muslin cloth, whatever your preference is. This gives a more robust cleanse and an element of manual exfoliation too so you're kind of doubling down on that benefit and I do find if you're trying a cream cleanser and it does leave the faintest film on the skin then actually try removing it with a hot cloth or with a muslin cloth because I think you'll find it removes it without a trace, gone in an instant and you get that true perfectly clean skin ready for the rest of your routine. Now a product that contains a muslin cloth as standard is this one. This is the Naturally Radiant Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser available at Superdrug here in the UK, one of my absolute favourites. Now I know that not everybody can get their hands on Superdrug products but don't worry because there's pretty much a dupe for this wherever in the world you live. In the US, CVS do a really nice cream cleanser with a muslin cloth combination. If you're living in Europe you could go over to Aldi and get the Lacura one which honestly is like a pound and so so good. Or you can reach for the traditional Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser, which kind of created this style of product and kick-started the trend. I love this one because of the price point, £3.49. You can't argue with that. It really doesn't get cheaper for a high-quality cleanser. And you get the muslin cloth, which actually is super robust. I thought for the price point, it'd be really cheap, really flimsy, but no, it washes really, really well, and you get multiple uses out of that muslin cloth that you don't always with some other cheaper brands. This... I love. It's so rich. It's so luxurious and it combines some really great botanical extracts such as kiwi and mulberry to give you a little antioxidant action alongside that really effective cleanse. And the shea butter in here is pretty unique in cream cleansers but again gives a real deep level of nourishment to the skin. Won't leave you feeling stripped and dried but the skin perfectly perfectly clean. Now some people might say I probably should have started with this product because it is definitely like something that I think introduced a lot of people to the concept of cream cleansers and it's this one. This is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. This if you're wondering what sort of texture a cream cleanser will come with and you've used this product this is pretty much it. It's kind of like a creamy gel formulation that I personally 
absolutely love. Glides onto the skin. You can use this as either a first step in a double cleanse or as a standalone cleanse, which is how I choose to interact with it. It's just a really nice, inexpensive, super basic but effective cleanser. If you want to start on your like cream cleanser journey, you want to dip your toe in, try something without spending too much money, this is probably the one that I'd reach for. <laughs> it just works. And you look at the ingredients list, very few ingredients in it, but who cares? If it delivers, it delivers. And I would think this would work really well for people with a sensitive skin type too because it's got fewer ingredients and it's also entirely fragrance free. Now when it came to creating a cleanser for my own skincare line, the Mad About Skin Collection, of course I went for a cream formulation. There's a couple of reasons for that. I was fangirling so hard about cream cleansers at the time, it kind of seemed like a natural progression to want to create one myself. But also, I wanted to create a cleanser that kind of just worked for all skin types so that it was accessible to everybody. And cream cleansers kind of do that, which is how I ended up creating this. This is the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser. Now, the name might be a little bit misleading because jelly cleanser, you think, oh, gel-based formulation. But actually, this goes on as a beautiful, luxurious, and rich feeling cream. But once you work it into the skin, it kind of transitions into a gel format. This is relatively unique but because it does that this is probably one of all the cream cleansers I mentioned today that washes off completely zero trace no matter whether you use a muslin cloth or you just wash it off with lukewarm water there'll be no trace of this product left on the skin afterwards and that was something that was really really important to me if you're looking to try a cream cleanser that's guaranteed to disappear without a trace this is probably the one that I'd recommend it's also got some botanical extracts in here to calm and soothe there's no artificial fragrance so again it's suitable for a sensitive skin type and a lot of people over on the Facebook group, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below if you want to check it out. I said, actually, this is enough to be used as a standalone cleanser, kind of done away with the idea of double cleansing and just use this on its own. If you did want to use it as part of a double cleanse, I would probably use this as the start and then finish with a gel wash, but it does have that element of flexibility and you could kind of reverse that the way that I just shared with the ordinary Squalane cleanser. This, like all the products mentioned in today's video, is linked in the description box below. If you want to try it, but get a little extra saving of your hard earned coin, I'll leave a um, discount code on the screen there if you wanted to purchase it try it out for yourself honestly i wanted to create a product i could be truly proud of that delivers all the benefits of the cream cleansers but with something that has a bit more of a unique texture and i'm really proud to say i think i delivered it with that product now finally before i end this video i did want to share a cream cleanser for, specifically for people with oily and acne prone skin i know there'll still be people out there that think you know what my skin is too acne prone to go with near anything that has cream in the name or that has oils in the formulation well if you're still a little a bit on the fence why not reach out and try the versed keep the peace cream cleanser this is really well formulated because those oils are encapsulated so you'll definitely feel less slip and oil on the skin texture is really important if you have oily acne prone skin and too much grease slip and oil can be a little bit off-putting you don't get that with this product it's also got 1.5 percent concentration of salicylic acid which as we know it's like a holy grail for acne sufferers out there this is definitely the one that i try or start off with if you have a super oily acne prone skin type and you want to delve into the world of cream cleansers. I think Versed have knocked it out of the park with this product and it's not super expensive either. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my favourite cream cleansers. Are there any others that you'd like to add to this list? Sound off in the comments section below and of course let me know, do you like an oil, a balm, gel, a cream? What's your cleanser of choice at the moment? Thank you for sticking with me in this video while I can just download some of my favourites. You'll see I've been experimenting with an awful lot of brands and products here but I think that's kind of the best way to find the true holy grail and for me at the moment I tend to be using that Revolution one in the morning and my own Mad About Skin cream cleanser in the evening. I find that these two kind of work best for my skin type, give me an element of sensorial in the morning, keeping it artificial fragrance free in the evening. And this kind of gives you the best outcomes for my skin. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care, bye.